Welcome back to Let's Play Deja Vu. We're gonna go up up into this uh, fancy apartment building that belongs to, I think his name is Siegel. We have his card there so you can use it on the elevator. If you use it on the pillars, you can find their weak spots, the fissures. And do massive damage. Yeah. It's kind of annoying that you actually have to hit it on that little box and you can't just use it on the elevator. So, um, I think, I don't think we mentioned in our videos, but uh, I remember me and, me, you, and um, Shy were talking about it like, whoa, what's, what's that? The picture in the back? Yeah. It's fine art, apparently. <laughs> I think I, I, I think I look at it. It'll describe it. We have a new address. And I didn't I didn't actually mention that, but we can use little. We can find things within the game world to give us different addresses, and that's how we get around, or at least know nice. where to go. You know, I watched. I, I finished Death Note, by the way. Oh, you did? Yeah. Gotta say, I was pretty. I was pretty um, satisfied with it. I have the first movie, I think, the live action. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I don't know about the live action, but I, I watched the, uh, the um, animated one, and it was pretty good. How long is it? I think it was 37 episodes. Oh, that's not bad. Might nah. watch that. That nah, was pretty good. Oh, speaking of anime, I read up on that uh, remastered version of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah. It's called Dragon Ball Z Kai, and it's supposed to be like 150 episodes. Yeah. Supposed to be truer to the manga. It's pretty awesome. Maybe. If it comes out on Blu-ray, I'll probably buy it. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll catch it at your place or something. I don't know. If it skips over all the crappy fighting, all the crappy like talking and standing around looking at each other, um, I don't think it will. I mean, I hope it does. I mean, seriously, who who stands around making that kind of noise? Unless they're like, you know... For like 20 minutes. You shot him. Oh, you can't actually shoot him because he has a bulletproof screen. So he locks me in and he calls the police. Couldn't you have like shot the lock or something? I don't know. He's you know, I, I might even ask. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, this game isn't really that abstract. I mean... A lot of it makes sense. But I've played some point and clicks that just go beyond the realm of reality. And we don't actually have a key for this place, so we have to use our gun to break the lock open. get inside you see something familiar in one Pardon of your videos. Huh. Yeah that order of perfume was also inside the, the upstairs bar. Oh this this house belongs to the secretary that works in the bar. It's kind of annoying having to click each little action. Yeah. Definitely makes Have the game a lot longer than it should be. Have you tried Resident Evil 5 yet? No, I'm probably gonna get, get it off of Gamefly. It might yeah, take a but while since it's kind of popular. Yeah, it is. I went to a um, blockbuster, couldn't find one. Well, I found a box that pretty much signifies that it's there. Yeah. 
But I don't know, maybe they put extra ones out and didn't even think about it. Because they, they ran out in the back. I haven't been to the Blockbuster in a long, long time. Well, I, pref I prefer it in general. It's just, it's quicker, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I guess in the long run, you know. I don't, well, I don't rent very many games, so. It's probably the best thing for me. And you don't play like crappy games, so. Exactly. Probably would be best. Well, I played the Wanted demo. Weapons of Fate. Pretty fun. Oh, really? The whole curving the bullet mechanic is pretty cool. Also tried out that Ninja Blade demo. How was it? Uh, actually, it's pretty fun. I might check it out. Probably a rental, not a buy. There's a lot of quick time events, though. It doesn't look too special. The graphics are pretty nice when it's actually in motion and everything. But a lot, a lot of quick time events. What else did I try? I tried the Chronicles of Riddick. That was horrible. <laughs> wait, wait. I thought they said that was a good game. It was, back in the day. It isn't now. Oh. I see. I don't know what happened. It looks like they're still using the same Doom 3 engine. It looks worse than it did back then. I mean, the graphics are nice and everything, it's just... They look the same. <laughs> You'd expect them, you know, to upgrade it and stuff. Which, supposedly, that's what they were doing. Are you trying to get arrested? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I meant, like, you try to leave his little cabbie and then you call the cops. It's not getting that bad. Seventy-five cents, why would you call the cops for that? It's horrible. Back then, seventy-five cents was like... five hundred dollars? I guess so, it's the forties, right? Yeah. And just so everyone knows, I was exaggerating. Don't be messaging saying, I don't know nothing about economics. Because frankly, you know, I'm not an economist, but I do know that it's not five hundred dollars. So. Yeah, it's more like eight hundred. Exactly. Thousand. Exactly. Well, we know our stuff. Time on Let's Play, we're actually getting our memory back. Uh. So we'll see you then.